On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one activity to do and one unique item to achieve. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans, get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonades to achieve a treasonous ring or loot 300 rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the unique within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit all the money I made to one of you guys, my viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Hey what is up guys, welcome to the first episode of the On Drop Rate series, I am really hyped to get this going and I actually want to make the first episode slightly less ambitious than the future ones I have in plan, just to get a pilot out there and get your guys' feedback on what you think of this series. So the first boss I'm going to be tackling in this series is the Calphite Queen, and the item I'm going to be hunting for is the Dragon Chain Body, which has a 1 in 128 drop rate, and that is exactly how many kills I am going to do in this video. Despite the boss being released in 2004, it is a very hard hitting boss and I am going to be hybriding this boss, so in the first phase I'm going to be using melee, in the second one I'm going to be using ranged, and in the ranged phase you are going to be taking some damage, and that is just unavoidable if you're using the strategy I am going to go with, so let's get into gearing. But here it is, this is the setup, I'm going to be using a crush weapon, the abyssal bludgeon, and all of this is just within my price range, I am not a very rich player, but hopefully with this series, if I get lucky, I will make some profits. I have the dragon warhammer, avernic defender for the special attack, armadillo with blowpipe for the second phase of the calphite queen, I am also bringing a rune pouch with vengeance, it is very good as I said in the last phase, where you're going to take some hits, which can go up very high in damage. So let's get going. I'm also starting with 10 kill counts, so when I'm at 138 I am done. I am of course not counting in the 10 kill count in this video challenge, that would be kind of unfair. So at 138 I am done, and we will see if I have the dragon chain body before that or not. I did forget restores in the last clip, but I have them now, so all good. But there is no one in this world, it has been a while since I did this last time, and I don't have a bunch of kills overall. So let's see how this goes, I do know how to do it though, so hopefully it's going to be good. I have done a couple of kills with this setup and I am just flinching the melee version, I am equipping my ranged gear, as you can see right here I am then going to vengeance, tank some hits from the final phase of the boss which can hit very hard, but at this point I pretty much don't flinch it at all, I just stand here and DPS as much as possible, and after this sometimes I have enough food to do another kill, sometimes I do not, I teleport to Ferox Enclave and just come back here again. Yeah, there it is, the first troll drop red dehyde body. The lookalike of a dragon chain body, but not worth quite as much. The first milestone kill count after this, and I have no food left, so hopefully it doesn't actually kill me here. But this is kill count number 10. Everything is going good so far, but it is very painfully slow. I do not have the best gear, as I said, if I had really insane gear I could go with Inquisitor, which is of course very expensive, as basically every KQ hit ignores defense, so having low defense gear doesn't really matter. That is now 20 kill count, which means I have done 10 kills in this video. Ooh, very nice, <laughs> rune chain body, it is uh, a chain body drop, but it's the wrong color one. Oh my god, I actually thought <laughs> I thought I got the pet or something because I got the pop-up, that is such a troll. Now it's kind of funny, basically running to the boss and banking is more time than actually killing the boss itself it feels like. I don't have the desert diary, which actually allows you to have the permanent ropes and be able to use the shortcuts, and I don't have the agility level either. Oh man, <laughs> I wonder how many of these I'm actually going to get. I was actually looking at some Calphite Queen videos to see how many kills an hour people with max gear is getting, and this is like Scythe, Full Inquisitor, insane gear, right? Worth billions. And they were getting like 25 to 30 kills an hour, and this is also with Thralls. So it is going to be very slow with this gear right here, and I do actually want to make a one hour trial and see how many kills I can get with my setup in one hour. So after this kill, which is actually kill number 30, I am going to do a one hour trial and see how many kills we can get. 
So after this kill right here on 41, we're going to start the timer. Let's see what we get for kill number 31. Some dark crabs and money. So let's now go to the bank, start the timer and see how many kills we get. What is that? KQ head, that is the same drop rate as the dragon chain body. 1 in 128. That was a missed roll on kill number 40, but uh, hey, it's a unique regardless. Nice for the collection log. Alright, so it has been roughly an hour, look at that, 58 minutes and 35 seconds, and I don't really have any food left, so I am expecting to have to flinch this a bit with a melee, so it's probably going to take another minute to kill it. So I have done now 15 kills in one hour, which is honestly without scythe and full inquisitor and the shortcut, the diary, everything... Not that bad. I'm pretty happy with that. That means the overall grind is going to be around 9 hours, which is uh, all good by me. No way. Oh my god, look at it. Oh, that looks so good on the ground. That is on cases 68, so pretty much exactly halfway to the drop rates. We did it, boys. Look at that. We actually got it. That means I won the challenge and the rest of the kills and the loot is going to be a winning stretch. Let's see if we can manage to get two of them. That is so awesome to see. Bro, there's no... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Another KQ head on 78 kill count. Could have been three D chains. No second D chain yet, but I have done 100 kills after this one. And of course, I would remind you guys, I started with 10 KC. So that's why it says 110 in the chat and we're ending on a 138. But uh, yeah, very happy so far with everything. The kills are going smoothly. And of course, we got the D chain. Oh my god, a second chain body. All of you guys who tabbed in to look at that, you all have to subscribe now. But here we go, this is the last KQ kill for the entire grind. What is the last loot going to be? Battle staves and prayer potions and 138kc overall. Let's go and have a look at the overall loot. Before we get into the loot, I want to have a look at the collection log, which was very barren before we did this grind with only 10 kill counts. And we now have unlocked two more slots, the dragon chain body and two calfite queen heads. And we have a 138 kill count. Now, in my inventory, I could not fit all the loot, but uh, the more valuable stuff are worth 6.7 million. And overall, all the loot that I got is going to be on the screen right now on the rune light pop up. I just copy that and yeah, 7.1 million loot. Definitely not great. Now, of course, because I managed to get the dragon chain body, I did win this challenge and I get to keep all the loot. But in the future, if I do not manage to get the item, I have to give it to you guys in the comments. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. I would love a feedback on this series. Any good criticism you guys have, please leave it in the comments below. Also, in the next one, I am going to do a very big grind. So I hope to see you guys there. And uh, until next time, guys, take care.